Good morning and welcome to today's message. This is part 3 on the topic of acceptance. Today's message I dedicate to a special little girl whose birth changed my life for the better. I grew up in the era before our country became a democracy in 1994, where race and cultural differences were still issues of importance. This was even more pronounced as I was married to a policeman who was active in service during the apartheid years. This all changed on 25 August 2010. Let me explain. During December 2009, my unmarried daughter of 26 years told me that she was pregnant. My whole world shattered as I did not even know that she was dating someone. We agreed that abortion was not an option. To top this all off, she told me that she did not want to get married as the father is a Muslim and she do not want to give up her Christian faith for the sake of being married. The part of being pregnant suddenly seemed not as important as to what the baby might look like as the father was not Caucasian. Different images went through my mind light skin, dark skin, light eyes, dark eyes. Due to an inner shame taught during my own childhood years where relations between different races was not only a crime but seen as disgusting, I didn't say anything to anyone about becoming a granny right up to the time when my daughter was almost eight months pregnant. To be honest, it was not a joyful moment for me at all as I struggled with feelings of resentment towards this unborn child. But, and a big but I must add, on 25 August 2010, when I held that little bundle of joy in my arms, everything changed. It did not matter anymore whether she was white, black, green or purple. The only thing that mattered was that she was alive and healthy and ever since then I became like a lioness protecting that little darling with all of my strength and might. God had to allow something drastic to happen so I could change 46 years of prejudice and believe you me God had to change many of my mindsets I was so narrow-minded and selfish, not allowing myself to see others as human beings as well. Today, when I spend time with her, swimming, bathing, playing, I do not see her as a person of another color, but someone I truly and deeply love, my own flesh and blood. I had to learn this the hard way, not my way, but God's way. And assuredly, he is always right. We were all created equally and in the image of God. It is not an image that we as humans can see and also not an image defined by our race, color or culture. I trust that you will open your mind to this revelation that the image of God in which we were created is not what we see on the outside, but that which we do not see, the Spirit. Then we will be able to look at other people through the eyes of God and it would be easier to love them as God loves us all. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, the word world does not exclude the gays, lesbians, Muslims, Christians, Roman Catholics, Hindus, etc. God loves all and that is why Jesus died for all mankind. Please pray with me. Father God, 
we confess that we are struggling to love like you because of our inherent nature to be selfish. We pray that you would help us to love others as we love ourselves. Thank you for your unfailing love towards a sinful world. Amen. I want to leave you with these words. What great joy it is when one loves beyond measure. Have a blessed day and we'll be back tomorrow.